Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to a special edition of Magic the Gathering Market Watch. So really just a few hours ago on his Tumblr blog, Mark Rosewater kind of dropped a pretty big bomb to the Magic community. And if you haven't had a chance, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. But basically what he said was he was ready to finally answer the questions he's been getting about Battle for Zendikar. And the first question was, will there be full art lands? And the answer to that was yes. He said there's going to be some full art lands. He's seen them, and you're going to be blown away. Uh, so that's awesome news. Uh, the second question was, are the enemy colored Zendikar fetch lands going to be returning in Battle for Zendikar? And he said there will there will be a new cycle of dual lands, but the fetch lands will not come back in Battle for Zendikar. So once that information got out there, the market went insane. So I wanted to get this video out to you as quickly as possible so that you have time to react and perhaps find some card stores that are still selling the enemy colored fetches at a normal or decent price. So let's just jump in and look and see what the impact has been. And we'll just go in order of uh, the biggest value jump, starting with number five. And that's Marsh Flats. It's up to $36.97. And over the course of the last 24 hours, it's increased $8.97. And it only gets worse from here. <laughs> Arid Mesa, $45 in the last 24 hours. It's increased $12.22. Next is Scalding Tarn, uh, coming up to $85 with an increase of $27.51. Number two, Misty Rainforest, coming in at $64.50 with an increase of $30.31. And finally, the biggest mover was Verdant Canacombs, up to $79.50, increasing $41.50. This is more than doubled in value in the last 24 hours. So a couple of things to keep in mind. A lot of this is due to speculation and hype. These prices will jump up, uh, but there's also going to be a backlash where these prices will start to come back down. If you act quickly, you might be able to find some card stores that are still leaving these on the shelves at the prices that they were valued at 24 48 hours ago and if you can do that then you might be able to get some value uh, we don't know when these will be reprinted battle for zendikar was everyone's best guess i don't really necessarily see them showing up in a modern masters or anything like that a couple of years down the road i think they'll save them for a set that they want to add a little bit of spice to, kind of like they did with Khans of Tarkir with the Allied Color Fetch Lands. But who knows when that will be? At this point, we don't know. So without any sort of good speculation, these are just going to continue to climb in value. Now be careful of these huge increases that are happening too quickly, because like I said, there will be some backlash and the prices will come back down a little bit. But overall, they're going to be much more valuable than they were 24 hours ago, regardless of what happens. So, hey... Thanks for watching, as always. Hope this video helps you and helps you make some good decisions to get your hands on these if you don't have play sets of them yet. Uh, and hopefully maybe get them before you uh, feel the impact of the full price increase. So, as always, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks as always for watching. If you're still looking for quality Magic the Gathering videos, click on one of these annotations. And if you had not had a chance yet to subscribe, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the breaking MTG news, spoilers, set reviews, crazy product openings, or gameplay videos on Heroes and Legends MTG. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.